All right, let's take a look at K.J. Britt, uh, the Auburn linebacker, getting ready for his big day, his big, hopefully big debut in the NFL coming soon. Uh, he only played two games in 2020, obviously had the uh, thumb injury, torn ligaments there. Deshaun Davis here to break that down, to kind of go through K.J. Britt's career. Uh, Deshaun Davis played at Auburn. Deshaun Davis, you are good friends with Mr. K.J. Britt. Yeah. Uh, you were apparently over there Snapchatting him just like two minutes ago. So, I mean, <laughs> if you're on the Snapchat with him, then I'm pretty sure you're a good friend. So, tell us about K.J. Britt. Like, if K.J. Britt were sitting there next to you right now, like, what can you, what, what would you like to say about your good friend there? That's like my little brother, man. Like, seeing that guy, even to be able to sit here and talk about him as a draft prospect, like, it made me smile because I remember when KJ first walked into the Auburn locker room. I remember when he first committed with the whole, thank you KJ, the, the Halloween video and all that. We joked about, joked with him about that forever. But like I say, man, it's, that's kind of like, this moment is kind of like watching your little brother grow up and, you know, kind of take the keys from you. You know, so when I left and, and, he, and he took that Auburn defense and, he became that leader and that, that true Mike Backer that we instilled into Arvin again as far as the way to play linebacker. Man, watching that guy, that first game against Oregon, I probably, I think I almost like punched a hole in my wall when he hit one of those guys and he got up so fierce, man. But that's just the way he played the game of football. He's an enforcer. He's a guy that if 33 hits you, you're probably going to get up with a 33 stamped on you. He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to try to leave everything that he has and all that contact that he's bringing. So if you're looking for a guy to leave them, leave their mark and, and bring some firepower to your defense, it's, I don't think it's another linebacker to talk about other than KJ Britt in this draft class. I like that. KJ, the enforcer, Britt. Downhill. Official. Downhill. <laughs> it is official. Yeah. So, you know, and that's the one thing about him. You know, he's kind of been considered that traditional, like downhill, old skill type of line, old skill, old school type oh, of sure, linebacker. Yeah. Um, you know, how, how does he kind of play into that? And maybe, I mean, do you, do you feel like there's some similarities in the way you guys play your game uh, at all? Yeah, for sure. And um, I think that's what brought us together at first when we first got to Auburn before we really found out each other were really good people and we really understand each other on, on the backside of life behind football. What connected us was, it was almost like that Spider-Man drip. I mean, that Spider-Man drip. And they pointed that, both of the Spider-Mans are pointing at each other. Like, you like to hit people. I like to hit people. Like, you're like me. <laughs> so, right. <Yeah. laughs> but, man, uh, like I say, he, he, he's a guy that he wants to leave his mark. You know, he, he wants to, he likes contact. He likes being the, the angry guy on the field. He likes being the bad guy, the, the punisher, and, and, and allow other guys around him to feed off his energy. You know, he, he wants, he's that strong leader. The, the, the gorilla in the room that wants the best out of everybody. And sometimes you're not going to like the way he gets it out of you. But when you turn around one day after you guys are done arguing, you're going to say, I really needed that talk or I really needed that push. Or he, he saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. So like I say, man, he, he's a he's a good leader also. But I'm, I'm extremely proud of that kid. No doubt about it. And of course, another guy from the state of Alabama, from Oxford, Alabama, former four-star recruit. We call that the, uh, I guess, the, the Alabama Mafia, right? You guys uh, yeah, yeah, holding down yeah. the fort. Let's go. I love hold it. it down, man. <laughs> hold it down. That's right. So first team All-SEC in 2019. Obviously, mm -hmm. the, the the torn ligaments in the thumb that uh, required surgery ended up being season ending. I know there was some hope, speculation that he might possibly come back. And then, of course, he mm -hmm. did get to play in the Senior Bowl, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, just... You know, a thumb injury like that. How, you know, do you do you think that he's back to speed? I know he might not be a hundred percent, but is this a guy that you see, you know, kind of uh, overcoming that hurdle and being ready to go when his name is called? Uh, you know, uh, later this year. Listen, um, I'm from Mobile, Alabama, um, Christian, Alabama, and the Senior Bowl is in my hometown. So I went and watched them practice um, during the Senior Bowl. KJ Britt is KJ Britt. He actually looked better because he, as is the the question on him and the down on him is can he cover? You know, can he move side to side? You know, is, is he just a downhill guy with the game being spread and now can he play in space? And I think that was important for him to go down to the senior bowl and show that 
he was able to cover. You know, he was he, he can still you know move. He he hasn't lost his edge. He he's not afraid to use that thumb and go and shoot it against you know offensive linemen and disengage and make plays. So, man, the injury. Honestly, I was surprised that it kept him out that long because I know the his mindset and the machine that he think he is. <laughs> so I know it had to be something serious if it sat him down that whole season, but. He, 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 he actually looks better. I don't know if he needed the rest or if he just had fresher legs, but the guy is, he, he's ready to play football. All right, so if you were gonna Snapchat, let's just say you're gonna pick up your phone and Snapchat KJ right now. What are you telling, what are you telling KJ? I gotta know. Well, I, I just snapped him, actually I just snapped him a picture of my computer screen and told oh. him, I said, bro, I'm doing a job profile on you right now. <laughs> get it straight. You better yeah, get it right. He snapped. He snapped me. Um, I posted a, a a memory of one of my favorite plays at Arbor, and he posted me. I mean, he snapped me. Was just telling me good play. I was like, it's crazy that you just snapped me because I'm doing the job profile on you right now. Oh wow, <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Well, it's good to hear you guys are still great friends and obviously propping each other up. And I know you'll be there cheering them on as um you know draft day rolls around. We are. Mm -hmm closely uh you know or rapidly approaching it i should say so yeah. uh of course we wish kj Britt all the best and of course all the auburn guys on their way and of course deshaun we wish you all the best because you know you're doing big things and uh Thank i you. can officially call you a rough rider rough yes, rider <laughs> i love it Download the Milo's mobile app today and receive a free cheeseburger after your first purchase.